In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a timer for your entire quiz. So one of my viewers on the YouTube channel was responding to a video I created a while ago about setting timers for individual questions. And they wanted to know, of course, if this could be done for the entire quiz. And of course, once the time was up for the quiz, it would jump immediately to the quiz results slide and show them their score, good or bad. The only thing I'll warn about this is that if you're assessing your learners based on a time restriction, make sure that that time restriction exists in real life as well. You know, if they work in a factory, for example, and they have to complete their tasks within a certain number of seconds, fine. That totally makes sense to include those sort of time restrictions. But if those time restrictions don't exist in real life, don't put unnecessary pressure on your learners. Let me show you how you can do this. Okay, I've got Adobe Captivate running right now, and I've just set up a very simple title slide, and we have a bunch of quiz questions, uh, looks like about 10 or so, and then my quiz results slide at the end here. My advice is that on the slide just before your quiz, you might want to tell people, hey, there's 10 questions, you got to get 70% to pass, and make it very clear that there's going to be 10 minutes to complete the quiz or 20 minutes to complete the quiz. Don't surprise them with this. Uh, again, writing tests are stressful enough as it is. So let's start with the first slide here. The easiest way to do this, I mean, you could write some advanced actions that take care of it, but this technology is kind of already built into Adobe Captivate. If you click on the interactions icon in your Captivate toolbar and go down to learning interactions, there's quite a few learning interactions that you can use for just such an occasion here. So let's scroll down until we find uh, not hourglass, that's an option for you as well, but timer. So I'm going to select that. And at first glance, you might think, well, that doesn't look very good. Don't worry, we'll make it look nice and simple here. And I'm going to insert this on this slide here. Now this opens up the configure interaction dialog and there's some instructions for you to follow here. I like to uncheck background so I just get simple numbers here and whatever works for your background. I'm going to place it down in this dark gray area here. So rather than having say a dark color like this here, I'm going to choose white and uh, we need to enter in our time. So. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to set it at 1 minute 30 seconds. You can either count up to that amount or count down, whatever you prefer. And make sure you check quiz timer only. So it'll only start during the quiz. If you need to store the results of the timer, the timer will store um, either a value of 1 or 0. So a variable value is equal to one if the timeout happens, else it will be zero. If you need that for some other purpose, uh, just give it a variable name here. You can just type in underscore timer or something like that. And then you need to determine what the jump to slide will be. And in this case, I know it's my very last slide. So that's gonna be slide 12. And we, we can include a timeout message, which will just replace the uh, the time in the countdown here. So uh, I'll just say time's up like so. So click on OK and that will update the properties of the widget. You can uh, take this down to the bottom here. It might be easier to select it from the timeline there and then just bring it down to the bottom here. It's a little tricky because objects like this, uh, you know, you really can't control their position in the stack. And then just resize it to an appropriate size for that particular space there. You can right click on it and go with alignment horizontal to make sure it's perfectly in the center. And then what you can do is uh, show the timing panel and select rest of project and make sure you synchronize with the project. Uh, if it's going to continue to display at this point, you might want to just make sure that your 
other items that might be in the bar down at the bottom here are positioned appropriately. So I'm just going to put these two items roughly like that there. So let's preview this and see how it works. Oh, forgot to click anywhere to continue. Uh, King Charles III is the current head of state of Canada. And I've run out of time. So it doesn't let me go to the next slide after that. I got 8 out of 10. I still managed to pass, which is a good thing. But maybe I could have got a higher score if I'd uh, finished it sooner. So, uh, you know, there's how you do it. It's a nice, simple approach to add a timer. But again, I really want to emphasize that you don't need to put undue stress on your learners if there isn't a time limit for whatever skill or knowledge you're teaching them in real life. So uh, take it easy on them and only use a timer when it's absolutely necessary. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.